guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing a good old fashioned Sephora haul. And I'm so excited to share with you guys what I recently picked up in the last couple of trips to Sephora that I have done. So the first product is the Sol de Janeiro body wash. This is in the Baja Floor, I think is how you say it, scent. So this is the one that is kind of like a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. I really like this scent in the body cream. And so when I saw that there's also a body wash, I was all over it. This is the larger size and there's also a mini. So I'm gonna see if I can smell anything cause I oh, hope it smells like the cream. Oh yeah, it does. It's a little bit more subtle than the cream, like right off the jump. So I kind of like that cause then you can layer the cream and not be completely like overboard with the scent. So I really like that. And I am curious how this is gonna go. It is supposed to be very hydrating for the skin. It says it is a skin renewing body wash. This is sold out right now at Sephora Canada. So I really hope that they restock it by the time this video comes up in case you guys are interested. It does say it's a creamy body wash. It definitely like looks just kind of on the top there. It looks like it's a thicker consistency. Very excited for this I will definitely let you guys know what I think but I love the body cream the body cream is on like the slightly thicker side so it really hydrates the skin it takes a little bit longer to seep in than a thinner body lotion would but if this is like a match then it'll be perfect to layer before the body cream if you guys have been around my channel for a while and you've gotten to know me a little bit you know that I'm in my early 30s getting close to mid 30s I guess so I'm 34 right now and so I'm not really sure if people my age <laughs> are watching this show but I read the novels and I really liked them. It's definitely a really breezy, easy read. The Summer I Turned Pretty is what I'm talking about. And it's also a book series by Jenny Han, who also wrote To All the Boys I Loved Before. So if you like that trilogy, you'll probably like this one. But I don't know if it's like meant for younger people. But speaking of that show, they just finished season two of the show. So the second book was done. And I found this on the Sephora Canada website. It's also at Sephora US, just like the other item. But this is the Fresh, The Summer I Turn Pretty trio. And what I really liked about this trio was that all of them are full size. Trios are fun or like little sets are fun, but often you get mini sizes in these things. And this one is all full size and it comes with a really cute little case. So it says, the future is unclear, but it's still mine. This is the very last like sentence in the second book. If you are a fan of the novels, you would know. I love this, it's so adorable. This is on the back, just like for, you know, cute little case for carrying makeup for travel. Oh, they're so cute. This is like the outer packaging. It's so adorable. It's got cute little flower designs. This first one is Radiant Rose. Just so happy that it's full sized. It's so nice to see. Oh, hi buddy. Harvey's saying hi. <laughs> he just said hello in my office here. So this is the first one. I'm gonna swatch. So it's got that nice smooth consistency like the rest of these balms. This is what it looks like here. So it's got decent pigment there. I would say like sheer to light. When it comes to that, you can definitely build it. This next one is Lily Luster. So this is also in a cute little flower pattern, except the flowers are like a lilac blue. I love that they've carried the design onto the actual bullet. I appreciate that just from someone that kind of cares about that stuff. <laughs> so Lily Luster is the next one. This is definitely like a pinky nude. So you can see that's in the middle. That's really pretty. That would be something that would just draw me in as a you know consumer, if I could pick one color, it'd probably be more of a nude color. The last one here is called Dewy Daisy and it's got yellow flowers on it. Really, really adorable. Hope you guys can't hear my dryer. My dryer's going and it's like right outside the room. So I hope you can't, <laughs> trying my best. Multitasking a little bit today. The beautiful flower design for that one. And then this one, what did I call it? Oh my gosh. Dewy Daisy. This treatment is making me so, this latest fertility treatment is making me so forgetful. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. <laughs> okay. The last one here is the last one that I just said. Dewy Daisy. <laughs> get it together Jenna oh my gosh I really think the first two are much more like wearable everyday shades and that cute little pink one is a nice pop of pink I like this kit if it is still available I think it's a great little buy especially if you're a fan of the show the next product that I picked up is actually from Tower 28 this is the swipe serum concealer 
and this is their latest product. I have had really good luck with Tower 28. I think as a whole, that brand has been mostly hits for me. And this is the shade here. I think it'll be more of like a brightening concealer. The shade I picked up is BU. It does look on the lighter side though. I hope that it was a decent match. It's gonna be a little bit on the lighter side for sure. So that's the shade there. I think just based on my skin and my hand is always a little bit tanner than my, my face. I think that's gonna be a little bit lighter, maybe more of like a brightening type idea, but I do think that's a nice one. I can probably make that work. Otherwise, I'll just exchange it, but this one says it is a light, weightless serum concealer. It has the power to visibly cover dark circles, hyperpigmentation, redness, designed for sensitive skin. That's great. So I'm excited for this one. I really hope this is a hit because their skin tint is one of my favorites. Their blushes are lovely, so I hope this one will be a good one too. Next up, I picked up the new mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Lash Sculpt Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. This one has really nice outer packaging. I do think they do a great job with kind of that level of bouginess. There's also a nice rose gold kind of element to it with the nice detailing, the font. I really think this is nice. And it kind of feels like a little bit weighted in the hand. Not quite, but enough. And this one has an interesting wand. It's kind of like straight. You can see it's just very straight, not a curve to it at all. I think all of the bristles are relatively the same size. There's no tapering or anything. So I'm kind of excited to see what this one's going to be all about. They do have a mini size of this available at Sephora if you just want to try it out. But it says here that it's... <laughs> I love these descriptions sometimes. Designed for a sexy extension effect. I'm excited to try this. Mascara is always a nice fun one to try, especially because I like to actually see if it's going to do what it says, like lengthening, volumizing, not flaking throughout the day, making sure that my lashes look separated and bold, especially like that extension kind of look. I hope that that's the case because that would be really nice. So Huda Beauty has come out with a couple new products through the Glowish line that she's got. The first one is the Super Jelly Lip Balm. This is the outer packaging here. It's got a cool gradient from like a light purple to a bit of an orangey color. The first thing that I thought of when I saw these was the e.l.f. lip balms. Well, actually no, there's a lot of brands that will do this type of packaging, but it's got like this plastic see-through outer package and then this like roll-up type idea. I think a lot of brands have done this, but for some reason it reminds me of the e.l.f. ones, <laughs> like right off the jump, I don't know why. <laughs> this is the Go Goji Berry shade here and it is incredibly sheer. The little bit of oranginess that's popping through is very slight, you guys can see. So it's meant to be an incredibly nourishing lip balm. The tint is incredibly sheer. And even as I was swatching it on the hand, it was melting really fast, like already it was just kind of mushing slightly. So just be careful, even a little bit of pressure and you can kind of push on that product. It says here it has superfood infused ingredients in it. There is a 12 hour hydration, has a glow to it as well. It softens, smooths and nourishes your lips. So. Keep you posted about that. I do like me a nice lip balm. And this one has also some really high hopes from Huda Beauty, so I'm excited. They also have this, <laughs> okay, I should have read before I ordered this because I thought it was a lot bigger. And then I looked at the label again, and of course it's a mini size. But not only is it a mini, it's a micro mini. This is an eyeshadow palette. It's called Micro Mini natural eyeshadow palette. The shade I picked up is Amethyst, but look at this tiny <laughs> little thing. I, I should have known. Should have read that a little bit better, but this is kind of like the quad that I thought I would wear the most because these are the shades that I wear the most. So mini though. I love it. <laughs> I think you can do a number of different looks with this. So these shades are very compatible. You can see it's very easy just to visualize looks. This might actually be the most mini eyeshadow palette now in my collection. Like unless we're talking about a single shadow. I really am curious how these are going to swatch. I hope that they're okay. They actually do remind me of the Huda Beauty mattes. So it's not like integrity is changed in any way. Very even, uniform swatches. I didn't have any trouble with them. They look quite opaque. So excited to put this one to the test. It would be a perfect travel mini little quad if it was good quality, just like her big palettes. We do have a couple new blushes in this haul to try out. 
in the near future, which I'm super excited about. One of them is from Give Beauty, which is the Gwen Stefani brand. This is the Feelin' Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo, and the shade is, well, the combination is Lasting Love. I love that. It almost has like holiday vibes, but you know, just very glamorous, which I like. And these are the shades here. Super beautiful. Wow. If it's anything like the highlight, the highlight is gorgeous. It's um quite pigmented actually. So these, oh yeah, these are pigmented too. They are going to make gorgeous blushes. This is the combo here. These are right up my alley, guys. I always get shades just like this <laughs> in like multiple different brands, right? But I love that. They've got a really beautiful texture to them and they're quite opaque, very pigmented. So I do think this is gonna be one where you, just like the highlight, that's also super pigmented. I think that one's going to just make sure you've got a light hand to start off so you don't over apply, but this looks so, so beautiful. I do love this combination and I can't wait to try this one. I have been equally loving powder and cream blushes now. So I'm excited to have a new powder blush in the collection because there have been a lot more creams that have been coming out lately. This next blush is a cream. It is the Cali Ray. Actually, it's not a cream. It's more of like a liquid. It's the Lip and Cheek Hydrating Soft Stain. It is a clean lip tint and blush. The shade I picked up is Wildflower. It's very cute. It's got that really nice gradient there. It's got a nice wide doe foot applicator there. Fun pop of pink. This is kind of like my definition of a Barbie pink almost. I know that there's a lot out there that are more vibrant but this is vibrant enough to me. Like this is a perfect Barbie pink. And the fact that it's going to be more of like a tint is really nice too. When you blend it in to the skin and it looks more like that, it's gonna look gorgeous. More natural, but also that fun pop of pink, I think. Definitely excited to try that one out. The last two products in this haul are both lip products. So the first one is a liquid lipstick. This is from Givenchy. It is the La Rouge Inter Interdit. That is probably a French word I just botched. This is in the shade Cream Velvet. Really beautiful packaging, but I do think Givenchy always kills it with the packaging, so I'm not surprised by this, like, whatsoever. You're paying quite a bit of money for this Fashion House's beauty line, so the packaging has to kill it, and they absolutely nailed it. I will keep you posted, because they're... I need to have a very hydrating liquid lipstick product, but it also does feel more on the velvety side, like they're claiming. I think that is so beautiful. Such a gorgeous velvety, like liquid lipstick product just from the swatch, it looks lovely. So I'm definitely going to be prepping my lips well before I try this one out, but definitely excited to try it. The very last new product in this haul is from Milk Makeup. These are their new glosses. This one is called Work Trip. Love the outer packaging. It's very Milk Makeup, you know. They have really cool white sleek packaging with the see-through containers, which I really, really like. Definitely like a lot of product in this one, which I appreciate, but I really, really like that packaging there. And the doe foot is very interesting. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's got much more of a point compared to others and it's a little bit thicker and more plush. Tons of shine, really, really like that. A slight sweet smell as well, but it's not overbearing or anything. It's not perfumey or synthetic smelling, more so like lightly sweet cookie. That's kind of like a sugary almost smell, but very, very subtle. According to Milk Makeup, this is a high shine gloss made with nourishing oils and goji berry extract, which, this is also goji berry, so we've got a little bit of a pattern here for a smooth, non-sticky finish. So on the hand, it's definitely a little sticky, <laughs> but I wonder if it like meshes with your lips if it's not gonna be as sticky, but I'm just kind of wiping it and it's like, it's tacky still. So I don't know if it's because it needs to set or something, but I'll keep you updated. I am not sure what they mean by non-sticky because on my hand, on that swatch, it was definitely a little sticky. That is it for my haul, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Expect reviews from these very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed this Sephora haul and we will chat soon. Bye, guys.